You might remember Jason Nash from David Dobrik's vlogs back in the day, the, the old fella who would... I, I don't even know what he'd do. I haven't watched a David Dobrik vlog in about half a decade. I don't even think he's posted one in about half a decade. But since David has been pretty AWOL in terms of YouTube, I think he's like a, a Snapchatter now. He's a professional Snapchatter. He makes all his money off Snapchat. And Jason seemingly built his whole social media brand, if you can call it that, around being in his videos. He's not really got much going on at the moment. Building your whole career to be reliant on someone else is a house of cards to begin with. But what has he been up to is a question nobody has probably ever asked. But since you clicked on this video, I'm going to do you the service of telling you. So Jason has retreated to the final bastion of social media relevance, TikTok Live. It's always sad to see a creator. I, I don't know. I don't really know if you could call Jason Nash that to me. I don't know much about Jason Nash. All I know him for is being in David Dobrik's vlogs. So it's always sad to see like a, a staple of the online space resort to TikTok live because like, like being realistic the only real purpose it serves is to beg for money i've never seen someone do a TikTok live and like i don't know actually do something they just kind of sit there and go oh thank you for the roses uh th thank you for I don't, I don't know any of the other names for the gifts and on TikTok live you don't even directly beg for the money you beg for these things called gifts which are like these weird icons that represent a certain amount of money i think which is even more pathetic than just going go and give me a fiver, guys. Come on. I want to make 100 quid today. Here we go. Here comes the double. Keep that day! 14 out of 20 wheels. We're flying today. Need a galley. Need a galley. Keep that day! Dropping wheels like he's at SeaWorld. 40 seconds of doubles. Here we go. Another wheel from Keep that day! That's four! Have you ever seen a grown man so happy to receive a, a virtual whale? Keep that day! Also, they're apparently worth $25 each. I looked it up. They're apparently worth $25. I don't know if the creator gets that or if that's what they, they cost to buy. Who is this person that sent $75 of TikTok whales to this 50-year-old man? Well, the person who did this post on TikTok and said it was the funniest thing ever. Money well spent, well worth the money. I'm guessing they thought this would blow up, but it got 315 likes. You paid $75 to an old man for, for 315 likes. But this is what he does these days. He goes on TikTok live for apparently up to eight hours a day. I wouldn't know this firsthand because I, surprisingly, I do not spend eight hours a day watching TikTok live. But people have reported he spends up to eight hours a day on there and just begs for money. Eight hours a day. One of the benefits of being like an influencer is you basically get to do fuck all. That's one of the main appeals to it. If you're doing an eight hour shift a day of e-begging, just, just get a job at that point, man. Like, it would be far less humiliating than publicly embarrassing yourself like this at 50. Like, I get it, you got a family and stuff, but there are other ways to make money. You don't need to resort to this. 20 seconds left. B Force Park Station. Everybody bring that bring home back. Slide now. Slide. Slide. Eight. Seven. Need it bigger. AKS. Yeah! B Force! Damn. Thank you, Sarah, for trying. Thank you, people. If you don't know what's going on here, don't worry. Neither do I. But what I think is going on is like you, you, you double tap whoever you want to win the the TikTok live battle, and whoever whoever the bar at the top, whichever way it, it swings most, is the winner. I don't know what you win. A shred of your dignity back, perhaps. I'm like 90% sure there's a gift in elements this because the the caption on this is POV. You're watching Jason Nash beg for money on TikTok live. So I have a feeling a lot of this has to do with begging for money. He's got the glove. Go, go, go. Slando, throw our glove. Go, go. Slando, throw it. Go, Slando, throw our glove. There's our glove. Tap and drop. Go. Everybody, go, go, go. I'm even more confused as to what is going on here. Like, I honestly couldn't even begin to explain this. What does he mean, glove? What is the glove? What, what, what are you on about, mate? How is it that this 50-year-old man is seemingly more technologically capable than me? It's tragic. But the thing is, this doesn't even look remotely fun. Maybe it's one of those things that, you know, don't knock it before you try it type of thing. But... I don't think it is. If it's just this and him standing there and going, oh, oh, thank you for the roses. Oh, let's let's hit our gift goal for the for the stream, guys, please. For eight hours, I think I would rather spend eight hours doing literally anything else. And some people are probably going to comment on this video being like, oh yeah, but, but it's good money. It's really good money. I would rather make a fraction of the money I make on TikTok Live doing a normal job. This is just this is just straight up humiliating. He's got the glove. He will drop it. Go, double speed. Galaxy gets a follow. Yeah! Glove! Robbie! Let's go! Galaxy, stay with the Galaxy. Everybody try Galaxy. Go! Whale, sweetie. Try the whale. Cozy! Robbie! 
Tell him more. Kuzi again. Nine seconds on the clock. Kuzi again. Look at this. Absolute fucking amazing teamwork. What? This is so jarring with all the stuff appearing at the bottom, by the way. How can anyone watch these? What? Like, why are people watching? What is the entertainment value here? Who are the people that, like, I don't know, get home from school or work and go, ah, oh, you know what? Time to kick back, relax, and watch a bit of e-begging for hours on end. You know what? I might even send them. Who are the people sending the money? <laughs> Something about this just feels weirdly dystopian. Like, you know, um, 15 Million Merits, the Black Mirror episode. For some reason, TikTok Live reminds me of that. Mike, one more, Mike. Go, Kirsten. One more. Mike, hit the target. Yes. I've got to ask the question. Where did his money go? Because I know for a fact American YouTubers and influencers make so much more money than like UK creators. Like I've heard about how much American YouTubers who get a similar amount of views to me get from brand deals. It makes me want to jump out of a window. So Jason Nash was definitely making a decent bit of money in his heyday. So where did it all go? Did you not set anything aside? And honestly, let's just be candid here. Jason Nash didn't need to save up as much money as other influencers. Like let, let's just be real. He doesn't have as much time left on this earth as David Dobrik. That's really morbid. I don't know why he's... <laughs> Morbid. It is always confusing to me though when I see a lot of these influencers end up on their ass seemingly for no reason. Like, did you not save any of the money? I could be wrong here. I could be thinking Jason Nash earned more than he actually did. But this is a this is a lesson to, to the young influencers out there. Don't blow all your money, otherwise you end up on TikTok Live e-begging for eight hours a day. Put your money in a nicer and in, invest it in, in stuff, not risky stuff. Put it in a nice balanced portfolio and you won't end up begging on TikTok Live. But Jason went on a podcast. I don't know if this was recent or not, but it came up on my TikTok. And in it, he seemingly talks down working in retail, which is just incredible considering what he does now. You know, did you ever think about going back to like any other job or was like, like I can't do anything else. Or just like, I love, yeah, electrician, obviously you do lies with him. Um, I don't know, just... <laughs> I just never thought it's like it's like it's entertainment or nothing. I don't care what it is. Like, I'm... what would you suggest I do? No, no, I'm no. It's, <laughs> it's just that. No, I'm, I'm, genuinely... I'm sorry, mate, but you are not in a position to be talking like that. You beg on TikTok for money. You can't go. Oh, what, what would you expect I do? Get a job in a shop? Do you know who I am? I'm the old fella from the David oh, Dobrik videos. I should never have to resort to getting a normal person job again. Like, okay, maybe he's not talking it down. Maybe it's an inside joke. I'm not in on. I don't know but from my perspective it seems as though he's talking it down also this guy has fucking experience i assume he had a job before he met david dobrik like he was what, in his 40s he must have had a job like jason nash you do not need to work in a store you have experience in the field you were in before social media and also social media you have social media experience which is valuable to a lot of companies like you could go and work for an agency or something i think a lot of influencers think it's like a badge of shame or something to go back to working a normal job after you know the whole influencer stuff has died down and i don't know where this stemmed from but working a nine-to-five is far less humiliating than whatever the fuck this is. I don't know how good the money in TikTok Live is. I've heard some people make like 10 or 20 grand a month from it, which is, you know, that's a good bit of money. I don't think it's worth, you know, those people that make like 10 or 20 grand a month, I've heard are just humiliating themselves to the maximum. I don't think it's worth that. I personally wouldn't do that. Yeah, apparently it can be quite a lucrative field. It is just, it is just like the low, it's like the lowest form of like the social media, I guess, clout you can have is being, you know, a TikTok live streamer. Like and subscribe so I don't have to resort to begging on TikTok live for money, please.